Doesn't look like dinos are extinct yet. All right, guys. Now with this uh, dino deck, we got Miss. How do you say it? Miscellaneous source back at three. So um, just updating it from the last profile, and uh, hasn't really changed a lot. Um, you can still go into Nat Beast easy, um, especially with Miscellaneous source back at three. It helps out a lot, and uh, you know, just go right into the deck profile. So with this, uh, it doesn't use the level nine stuff like Monstrosity and stuff. Just more Dino beatdown. Um, but there are, I know there's a lot of versions out there with like monstrosity and stuff. So, I mean, you could always tailor it to that way if you like. Um, but like, I, I don't run the Ib and stuff like that. This is just more dino beat down, like I said. So, of course, we're going to run three OV Raptor. He's the main guy. You want to see him in your hand. Or if you're able to summon him off of Baby Sarasaurus because when the diagram and stuff, um, he's super good. Just the fact you can like uh, add Tyranno to your hand or the ultim Ultimate Conductor Tyranno is pretty good. Um, doesn't restrict you to like certain levels like usually other monsters do when they come to searching stuff um, So OB Raptor is just really busted um, And now from the card that came back from the beyond three missing say a source. It's back at three now um, The fact that you can protect your dinosaurs is really cool um, And then just the fact that you can summon anything from the deck as long as you banish whatever material or the cards um, Just straight from your deck is really good. So I can see why he was back, or he was at one for uh, a while. Now for the babies, um, I run three baby Sarasaurus and one petite Ranadon. So I've seen a lot of profiles where they only run two baby Sarasaurus and one petite Ranadon. Um, but I just like running the three just because like sometimes you want to see it, especially because I run the True Kings, um, like the Agnimazu and stuff. Um, so that's why I usually want to order on the three, especially just to have options and stuff too. Uh, and then Tyrandon is just really good. I added it to the deck. I didn't have it in the last profile, but I added it to the deck because you can like summon Pranker Tops and stuff like that from the deck. So, you know, why not? That's your disruption. So some people could see as that too many baby Sarasaurus, but I think you need the three. Uh, now for your other dinos, uh, one Giant Rex. Um, I used to, I think I had more of this in the last profile, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but now I just cut it to one because especially with Miscellaneous Sarasaurus, you want to see that more often than the Giant Rex. Um, usually you summon this off with like Baby Sarasaurus or if you want you could banish Miscellaneous Sarasaurus. Miscellaneous such a hard name to say. Um, and then summon him just for an extra beater or something. But um, yeah, just cut it down to one now because you don't need it as often. Um, now for Pinker Tops, um, you could run this at three, but I think two is cool. Um, Maybe if you run the more, uh, like if you run the, the Dino Rest of Stegosaur and like the field spell that you can banish, maybe you could run three of this because um, it's a lot easier to add um, with those cards. So, you know, but for this deck, I think just two is good enough. Especially because you can summon off the ter Petite Tyranodon. Um, now for your more boss dinos, we got two Overtex Quatlis and two Conductor Tyrant. So Quatlis, usually, you know, you want to send to the graveyard, uh, get the double evolution pill. Or though, I mean, you know, it's a pure dino deck, so if you're able to banish a lot of dinosaurs, especially with uh, missing and Sarasaurus, you can, you know, put them all back in the deck and summon them for free. So, you know, why not? And then negate spell and traps. So, you know, it works. And, and then Conductor Tyranno, like I said, this card's really good. It's a good boss monster. Um, now a lot of decks for life, you know, from the extra deck and things, and if you get locked out, you just, Still have access to this card, which is a main deck option, you know, and usually nowadays a lot of boss monsters aren't from the main deck, they come from the extra deck. So that's why I like Dinos, because you still have access to this guy, and he's still really annoying to get around. Alright, now for some other Dinos, we play one Aelo, one Dogaron. So the Dogaron's there, because it's dinosaur you can search it in case you need to get rid of something they have, um, or just as a target for your Agni Mazu, um, and also with the Aelo, because it's you know, fire. You can still trish your opponent. That's always fun every now and then. Um, but yeah, you can do that pretty easily actually with this deck. Uh, now for the True Kings. We want two Bass Bros and two Agni Mazu. Um, like I said, you just want to have targets for your diagram, so that's why I just run these. Um, it's kind of hard to summon the Fathomer if uh, you don't have any waters. Um, in, in this deck, I do run an Instant Fusion just for one Instant Fusion target for the Mud Dragon. Um, it's a water bit. Mostly that card is just for like either Link Fodder or XD material or to go into Nat Beast easier because it could change its attribute in case that's all I can do. Um, but other than that, um, usually you want to see Yangi Mazu first because he's easier one to summon. 
Um, and yeah, so just like I said, they're just targets there for the diagram because diagram is still really good with this deck, um, cause especially because of the baby star source. Um, for the last card, two effect veiler. So you could, you know, run any other hand trap um, you like. Um, I just like veiler one because it's a level one tuner. So um, you can go, like I said, it just helps going to Trish or something like that. Um, I only run Nat Beast and Trish, so you can't really go Nat Beast, but you can at least go into Trish, uh, need be. Um, but yeah, just the fact, the fact that it negates all effects. That's why I like um, effect better for a monster. Um, but obviously you can switch it out. Maybe Ogre may, could be a little bit better, or Ash if you prefer Ash. Um, so it's just per personal preference. Now to the spells. We run three Lost World and two Diagrams. So when it comes to the field spells, sometimes I go back and forth. Right? Either three and two, or two and three. Um, so it just depends on personal preference. I like the three Lost World because let's say if you have an Obi Raptor and a terraforming or let's say you know or a lost world um it's a lot easier to go into the play because you summon out the token to their side and then you can use Obi Raptor's effect to try to pop it but you some you pop one from the deck a lot easier so you know that, that that's why i like um lost world a little better diagrams is better if you have like let's say you open the baby sarasaurus instead or a petite pteranodon um and yeah so it i guess it just depends how you want to play the deck um, you could go back and forth between these, but I like having both just because you have access to either or. And obviously, because we have a lot of fields, one terraforming sucks it's at one, but it's understandable why it's at one because field spells are really broken right now. Uh, for other spells, we run three dig because you can search your starter card, especially like Obi Raptor, or let's say you already have an Obi Raptor and you have Agnimazu and like a missing say a source or something, you can at least get to the baby, or you have diagram in this. Well, you could search for the baby to start off. So it just depends on your hand. Um, two double evolution pill. This is just a more like a win more card. Um, even after you do everything, if you have this in hand, you could just use this. Summon like a conductor Tyranno from your deck. So you know why not? Um, and because we do a lot of searching and stuff like that, you gotta run three call by graves, especially if you want your combos to go off. Um, so call by is really necessary, I think, especially with this version of it. Um, for the last spells, one instant fusion, one regeki. This, this deck is 41 cards. You could cut out the regeki you like, or add something else. You know that helps you push further if you like. I just like it just in case. Or sometimes you do brick with this deck a lot, so I just have the regeki just in case. Um, instant fusion, like I said, was the target for your mud dragon. So just there for extra link water, extra XC material because it's level four, or um, attribute changer for the um, net beast. And now onto the extra deck. Uh, one Nat Trio Beast, one Trish. So like I said, with this deck, it's kind of easy to go into Nat Beast. Um, so we run Reproducus as well, uh, just in case we use the Mud Dragon and stuff. Um, but yeah, Nat Trio Beast is just really good card, especially if you're going first. Uh, you summon this, especially against, like, I would guess, a, a Sky Striker player, and they probably automatically scoop. So this card is really powerful um, against um, a lot of spell heavy decks, especially if they rely on the spells. And then Trish, because Every now and then you just need that non-target removal. And like I said, you can do it pretty easily in this deck. So that's why you still want to run those. Um, like I said, for the one instant fusion target, one mud dragon. Um, like I said, extra link water, extra XC material or something. You could use this um, just in case you need something. So that's why it's in here. But it's something you could honestly take out and add something else. Um, now for the links. So with the links, I've always gone back and forth if like, if you need a boar load or boar sword or saryuja. Um, but when it comes to this deck, you don't need the extra decks a lot. Um, unless you like, say you're going to Nat Beast or something like that. Um, so with the links, they're all just like kind of a bunch of link twos just to have an extra marker out there. Cause you're not going to spam a lot. Well, in this version, you're not going to spam a lot to have like a lot of links and stuff like extra link or anything like that. But you just want to control the board. I just have a lot of like link twos. Uh, one beat cop, one underclock taker, one Cerberus, and one Reprodocus. So Reprodocus is obviously there for that for the Nat Beast. Um, when it comes to these other three, it could be kind of anything you want because um, beat cop. Sometimes if you have like Reprodocus out there, Reprodocus can be kind of weak. So sometimes I like going to something else. I know beat cop's not that strong as well, but just to get an extra link marker out there because maybe you could extend and have another like maybe like a loggy or something else on the field besides your reproducus you know pointing down so 
once you summon the Nap Beast, if you still have like two level fours out there, you know, you kind of want to link into maybe a beat cop and then your extra two zones point up, you know, get open and then you can go into Loggy or something. So these can be personal preference. This is just because it's, you can use any two monsters and it points down. So why not? Um, so yeah, so these can be up to personal brand. I like Reaper Dokus, like I said, for the Nat Beast play, he's essential. But all these can be up to whatever you can come up with. But these are the ones I've liked so far. Then the Clock Taker is just good because if you want to game your opponent. Um, now for uh, Xseeds, we run a lot of Xseeds. So one Lagia, one Doka. Um, it's a dinosaur deck, so why not run this? these cards. Depending on what you're playing against, you want to summon the Doka, or if they're, like, let's say if there's like that one card they need, uh, you can summon the Lagia and they'll just shut them down. So it just depends. Playing monster heavy decks, maybe the Dolka so you can have, neg have two negates. Or the Lagia if they have just that one powerhouse card and you just you summon this instead. So it just depends on your matchup. Okay, now for generic ring force. We have one Dweller, one Baguska, one Tornado Dragon, one Exiton, and Daigusta Emerald. Daigusta Emerald is back from the ban list, guys. Um, could be a big deal, could not be a big deal. We'll see with all these new, or uh, with the new Yu-Gi-Oh! season of tournaments starting. We'll see if it makes an impact. Um, but yeah, with these, like I said, just generic um, removal, emeralds, just good just to get cards back in the deck, get extra draws, Tornado Dragon to pop back row, Baguska, if there's nothing else you can do, you can at least sit on that. And then Dweller, a lot of graveyard heavy decks, um, so this can stop a lot of decks. I think Dweller's still good. So, like I said, like I said, there's a lot of level fours in this deck, so this could always change depending on the meta and things like that. So, those are just the ones I picked. I think were the best. And for the last card, one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. Um, there could be those times you have to conduct the Tyrannos, and if let's say you can't get over a board or something, or you can't attack, um, if you're able to get two out, you can at least burn it for two k and maybe win for a game. So it's a stronger cowboy, I think. <laughs> Um, but other than that guys, that is the deck profile. Um, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. Um, let us know what are your spicy text with this dinos, uh, with this dino archetype. You know, dinos are so versatile. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, so just let us know down in the comments below. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out our social media. We want to talk to you guys. Um, we have our affiliate link down in the description. So if you're ever going to build this deck or any other deck you can think of, make sure you check it out and um, make sure you help support the channel. Thanks.